Hi there YouTube and makers and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another item boxing that came in the mail. This comes from Little Machine Shop in Pomona, California. Now this isn't a new to me item. I had already purchased this item and I initially had trouble with it. But um, Little Machine Shop I, had, I reached out from the help. I didn't ask for a replacement or anything, and they just immediately sent me a replacement tool set and hopefully a shipping label to return um, the problem tool set I have back to them. So I'm really happy with their little machine shop's customer service. And I'd like to make clear that they I don't think they know I even have a channel. I don't receive any commissions from them. That my relationship with Little Machine Shop is purely that of a consumer. So, and I would be shocked and surprised if they even know or aware of my channel or any of my videos. If they are, that'd be great and I appreciate it. And that makes me feel good. So, let's see what we got here. Well packaged as the previous one was. Now to be clear, um, one of the reasons why I didn't package the other one is that I was rushing to finish on my tender wheels and I was having trouble with my compound side attachment for my shore line here and sticking out my tool holder really far and let's see if I have one so these little quarter inch cutters were just not cutting it and the the rear hold down screw was like not even hitting this back part with the way I was monkeying around with it trying to get it to cut the compound sides on my tender wheels both the three degree on the tread and the 10 degree on the flange eventually i was forced to figure it out when my the tool holder i purchased from ar warner from a little machine shop made by ar warner broke well it didn't break what broke was the screw screw that holds the carbide insert and i was stuck it was the one tool that i really needed it was the al tool to be precise so I was forced to figure things out. And what I eventually came to realize is that the compound slide could not live in the same place to cut the flange and the tread. I would have to move them to different positions on the, the slide here on the lathe in order to get them in close enough in order to machine those parts. So I've got a return shipping label. So Maybe I shouldn't have trashed that box. Oops. I have to see if I find another one. So here's the tool. And it is completely sealed. So it's brand new. Um, I'm struggling finding cutting devices. So didn't apparently think this video all the way through. Maybe I need to keep pieces of uh, flint on hand to do a little bit of flint napping and make a cutting tool as I need it. So, let's see what we got here. So, I think this is a new set. It kind of looks just like the other one. So, as a nice block. So, I do appreciate the AR Warner comes with a very nice box. So, this is the Kit number one, quarter inch turning set. Let's open that up. It looks like it's new. So the contents shifted a touch. As you see, there's some foam. So let me just uh, take a moment to kind of move stuff around. So the AR Warners come with these high speed steel inserts and I had purchased, it'll probably show better on the photo over here someplace, um, some titanium nitride coated cutters. And these guys. I don't know how clear that is. Again, we'll show over here if I do. And 
I was really looking forward to using titanium nitride. And it's the recommended size on Little Machine Shop to use with these cutters. So on mine, while I hadn't even used the cutter yet, I was swapping out the high speed steel insert and I was in, I was, it was seating the, the uh, carbide cutter, it wasn't quite seated all the way and the screw had, the tiny little screw had just twisted off. So I was in a panic, I was stuck. I emailed AR Warner, asked them for help, if they had any advice or any recommendations. Because what I was really looking for is getting a dimension from them, like whatever size tap they use, in case I had to drill it out so that I would not, they never responded to me and talked to me. Now, as of the making of this video, I have not heard back from the AR Arthur R. Warner Company. This is January-ish, I think, of 2020, February-ish, whenever this video posts, and I get around to editing it. I've heard that over and over again, a lot of companies and businesses are having trouble with maintaining a staff and keeping people on staff, so my normal inclination was to get blistering mad, but I've heard so many times folks having trouble with employees coming in. I can't at this point, just three weeks after emailing them and not hearing back from them, hold them completely accountable. But that being said, with that in mind and with that as context, Little Machine Shop in Pomona, California, within a day got back to me. After not hearing back from Aaron Warner, I emailed Little Machine Shop. Within a day, they got back to me. Um, and they sent me out this replacement set. So, in terms of customer service, I am exceedingly happy and very confident in Little Machine Shop. I'm definitely going to be using them again. I really wanted to like these AR Warners. Um, their customer service lacking at this point, but again, given the context, 2022, it's understandable. Um, they do seem to work well. Um, I did use the import made because these AR Warners are made in the US and I really want to support American businesses as much as I possibly can. And these AR Warners, I haven't tried the high speed steel that they come with, but using the recommended car, titanium nitride carbide with these steel cutters, because um, these cutters, these aluminum cutting ones that are from Harbor Freight, these shafts are aluminum, they're not steel. so. And these aren't the current ones they sell. These are much older ones that I had found on eBay completely by chance. And I got them out of price on eBay in which when Harbor Freight still offered the 20% coupon shipped on eBay, these were cheaper than the set, the complete sets that Harbor Freight has with a 20% coupon applied. So I got, got me some of these C2 carbide cutters for, off of eBay. I'll put together a search maybe and I'll list in the com comment sec and list in the description below. So maybe um, you could use it. Maybe if you get lucky and someone happens to be selling a set to you, you might be able to find it. But so I went with these air warners and the carbide, the gold titanium nitrate carbide with this the steel quarter inch shaft bodies and titanium nitride coated cutters ah, it's very really nice it does a great job so I am not adverse to using AR Warner in the future I think I if as the need arise I will definitely look back at them again but I certainly will only likely buy them through little machine shop stop the presses all right have a little bit of an update related to the this air warner review and i gotta cut in here and say something this morning before having to deal with my job and work i tried to get a little machine in and on the shoulder of one of these tender wheels i made a mistake the last couple thousands left to go i work hard and i work hard and did bad to the point that the titanium nitride carbide was having trouble getting through. 
and all I was doing was continuing to work hard in it and keep loading up pressure of the cutter against the workpiece and increasing my work hardening to the point that eventually when the force of the cutter overwhelms the work hardened surface of the piece I was cutting, it was going to remove the work hardening and then dig in a way too deep, an extra three or four thousandths, whatever, and basically cause me to scrap the part. And all that was my fault. Um, I wasn't in a good frame of mind. I was trying to rush before work. Bad situation. So I figured, what the heck? You know, these AR Warners, I'm, I'm still very unhappy with their customer service because even to this publication of this late breaking news, they still haven't responded to my request for assistance. But one of the things that is on their paperwork, first they claim that it's designed to fit your current carbide insert holder, but um, use high speed steel, so it's on the cover of their, of their product they sell, for kit one, stainless, iconal, mono, and exotic metals. Stainless, I haven't missed too much around with. Um, I've only heard of Icono, and it is an interesting metal, but incredibly difficult to machine, though not as apparently difficult to machine as titanium. And I have no idea what Mono is. But if you do, post below. I'd like a, a little bit of an explanation to understand what it is, so I'd be happy to hear from you. But I agree. So I figured, what the heck, going to use the high speed steel insert. I'm not a big fan of AR Warner because well, at the time I wasn't a big fan of AR Warner because they're bad customer service and I thought well I'm going to scrap the part anyways and who cares if I scrap the high speed steel cutter because their customer service st stinks anyways and I'm, I don't have a lot of faith in tool. Well that high speed steel insert man where that titanium nitride at that titanium nitride had cut trouble getting through wow that high speed steel blew through that work hardened surface like it was plastic i mean it blew through it more smoothly and easier than aluminum so like it was like going through plastic i was amazed and i am amazed and quite pleased that i was able to save my part and not end up having to scrap it. So that does change things a little bit for me in which I didn't like AR Warner, and I still don't because of their bad customer service, but their high speed steel insert did an amazing job for me and saved my part. So I like it and I'm very happy with it at this point. So where I was thinking I might get more, not get more, or I might get some important parts, I probably will acquire more AR Warner through Little Machine Shop. But that being said, something else I also found out is if you look at the picture, you have the imported titanium nitride coated carbide cutter and the high speed steel AR Warner. The screws are different. And I think where where I may have had some of my problems when mine broke was that I used the factory screws on the imported carbide cutter. Moving forward, I would definitely never do that again. And next time I make an order with a little machine shop, I would use a carbide, but I would use a carbide with the screw, with the replacement screws they sell because they are the heads and the bodies are just ever so slightly different. It's really hard to tell by naked eye, but when you get a loop against them, lengths are different and the profile is different so that might have contributed to some of my problems so for sure I'm gonna buy a whole set of replacement screws for using with the carbide cutters so that's it for the slate breaking news now back to your regularly scheduled program and if you're interested in getting your own tool set and stuff like this then I'll certainly post a link in the description below so you can find your own but that is kit one of the AR Warners. And if you'd like to see it in action, um, check out my other video on 
where I finish up machining the tender wheel flanges on the Koza Hirohoka 040 layout Pennsylvania A3 steam locomotive engine in three to quarter inch scale to run on a three and a half inch gauge track. Thank you for watching and joining me today. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like button. And so you don't miss any machining and any future parts of my make of that steam locomotive engine, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification and comment below. I'd like to hear if you've had, if, especially if you've had experience with AR Warner, what your experiences were with them. If you've bought from Little Machine Shop, what, what you thought of them. I'm a big fan. I like them. And I love the fact that they actually produce a print catalog. So that's the nice thing. In a world where everyone's getting away from print catalog, they send you a print catalog. And it's nice to get a print catalog now and then. So until next time, have fun, stay safe out there, and keep making chips.